Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a review, a shooting review, and a car review of a new XDM Elite 10mm from Springfield Armory. This Springfield Armory comes with a 4.5 inch length barrel. It is a match grade barrel and this thing should be very accurate here at the range. Shooting 10mm with two, these are marked 15 round magazines and you get two of them. So that's really cool. Let's uh, start at the bottom of the pistol and work our way up. I thought that might be good, especially with this very generous magwell right here. Check the magazine as it goes in. I mean, it's huge. It's a very big magwell. It's gonna be very difficult for anyone to miss that when you're loading the handgun. So I wanted to point that out right away. That's one of the first things that struck me. Uh, young brother wasn't sure about the look of it being attached here, if you can catch that, but I think it's okay. You know, this is a combat handgun. This is a home defense handgun. And I think that it looks just fine. The biggest thing is how well it works. And I don't have any of these on my Glock 21, I got to tell you. That's very nice, Springfield Armory. Thank you very much. Makes for a fast mag change. Let's look at the mag getting kicked out. Okay, so if it's empty, you got a pretty good spring kicking the mags out. So that's nice. The texture job on the XDM is very adequate here. This is something that I don't know why, but it bothers some people out there. It doesn't bother me at all. But I shoot 1911s a lot, so I'm kind of used to this additional safety. It's a grip safety back here. It doesn't take a whole lot of pressure to activate it, as you can see. So it's a passive grip safety, meaning that when you grip the gun, the safety is activated. Right. On a normal grip, you're going to be gripping it and gripping it in. And it's got that much sticking out to make sure that when you do grip it, that it's fully in. And that engages your trigger right here, so then you can fire the gun. just like that. You do have a Glock style safety as well on the XD series. So as soon as you know you press the trigger, the middle of the trigger, it's gonna be activated and you'll be able to press the trigger to the rear. Yep. And this trigger is on the XDM right here is a bit flatter and it seems like it's definitely a step up from the regular XD triggers. So if you're used to a XD trigger, I think you're gonna like this one quite a bit more. It firms up really well right there. And then you got a little creep and then it breaks. And that's pretty consistent. Reset is pretty good. I'm on it again here. See a little bit of creep right there, and it breaks. So it's very consistent. It happens over and over and over, a little creep, and it snaps. So this is something that you can definitely learn and get very good at, just like you can a Glock trigger. This XDM you know, delivers as far as the trigger is concerned. The poundage is, I think, a pretty safe five and a half pounds is what I'm thinking it is. So again, why do you want a, a trigger that's more than three and a half or four pounds, especially for a self-defense handgun? You're squeezing the trigger. Do I want to shoot him? I'm changing my mind. I'm off the trigger. You know, whereas when you start squeezing a three and a half pound trigger or a three pound trigger, something like that, you're going to, it's going to fire. As soon as you start squeezing the trigger, it's going to fire. So there's no change in your mind there. On these Glocks and these XD products, you get a chance to change your mind and get back off the trigger and go back to a straight trigger finger if that's what you'd like to do. So that's that. The barrel and the slide is melanited as well as the controls. As you can see, the takedown lever and the ambi slide release. That's a change on the elite models of the XDM, which is really cool. Yeah. I don't know. I've always been impressed by these guns. I know some people think they're you know a knockoff, whatever they're coming from overseas. I don't care. Does the gun work? Does the gun function? Is it saving and protecting lives in America? That's what matters to me. And these most definitely are doing that. You're protecting Americans. You're protecting households and families with XDs and XDMs all across the country. So I think for that, that's a win. All right, up here. We got a space for a optic if you want to put an optic on here if you're one of those guys. Also right here, this is a loaded chamber indicator. This thing will pop up a little bit on the XD and the XDMs, letting you know that there's actually a round in the chamber ready to go. So how do I know? You can even check that at night. If there's a round in here, this thing is going to pop up a little bit. You'll be able to run your finger across it and know that there is a round in the chamber and that the gun is hot and ready to go. Didn't you have an incident where you were carrying your XD45, the tan bottom, stainless top, when you are traveling to Seattle, you brought that along because that was your uh, yeah, travel bag gun, right? Some drunk guy was trying to break into our room. When I traveled like that, I carried a Glock 30. For those of you that have been with the channel for seven, eight years, will know about the Glock 30 that I used to carry all the time. So I had the Glock 30 in 45 ACP and the XD in 45 ACP. It had a uh, tan frame to it. Anyway, 
The guy's pounding and pounding on the door. I answered the door. I had the XT in my hand. And before I went to the door, I was able to check it real quick and just run my finger right here, make sure it was loaded and touch back here and make sure that the pistol is cocked. Yep, it's and, got the cocking indicator. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. It's an amazing gun. And a lot of people own them and they say the same thing too. I do prefer them. I do highly recommend them. I think they're great for what they are. And I haven't really heard of any problems with them. And we've owned several. So this is not just a one-off or two-off occasion. We've owned several and I've carried them. So that's the 10 millimeter XD Elite, the four and a half inch barrel, a match grade barrel. It says it right there. And uh, it's a very nicely finished handgun. Guys, anytime you're shooting a 10 millimeter and you have a steel slide up here, steel barrel and all that, so your weight's up here and you've got a polymer frame of any type, I don't care what brand it is, you're going to be dealing with some recoil in a 10 millimeter. Just know it. Yeah, this is 30 ounces right here, and it does have some recoil. I did shoot it the first two mags through it before we're making this part of the video, and it shot pretty well yep. overall, but I definitely uh, was a little rusty with the polymer frame 10 mil. I felt like anyway, personally, but... Well, I couldn't really tell from filming it, but I will tell you this, is I am used to shooting 10 millimeter out of a 40 to 42 ounce 1911, Sorry. and this is 31 ounces. And so you can tell. there's a big difference there. You're going to feel a bit more recoil. It doesn't mean it's anything to be concerned about or afraid of if you shoot more than just a nine millimeter on somewhat of a regular basis i think it'll be fairly easy for you to step up to this 10 millimeter and yes the killing capabilities of it and the knockdown power to end a fight the 10 millimeter has it do you feel like you just can't shoot it like you used to you may be suffering from projectile dysfunction introducing ltt advanced shooter care ltt advanced shooter care puts confidence back in your trigger finger when using an ltt custom firearm you may experience smoother trigger pulls extreme accuracy and increased confidence if extreme shootability lasts for more than four hours don't call a doctor that's totally normal enjoy it experience ltt advanced shooter care and don't let projectile dysfunction control your range time all right, guys, we're going to be shooting Remington 10 millimeter ammo, auto, of course, 180 grain full metal jacket. The muzzle velocity is rated at 1150 feet per second. So this is not the hot, hot 10 millimeter ammo that's out there. This is kind of a middle of the road, great practice 10 millimeter ammo. And then get something else for carry. The stuff underneath there is 45 ACP, so we can disregard that. Talking about this magazine on the XDM 10 millimeter. We stated that it says 15 rounds on the magazine. I have stuffed 16 rounds into it. Or oh, wait a minute, I pulled it back out. So I have put 15 rounds in it right here. Here's the 16th round. So it now has 16 rounds in it, but it's not marked. So just know they're correct on the website that says it is a 16 round pistol. So you can go 16 rounds here, top it off, put another one in it. Now you're at 17 rounds of 10 millimeter. XDM Elite 10 millimeter. I am 24 and a half yards away from the target on the right, 25 yards away from the target on the left, and then the, the silver one behind young Beretta over here is about 22 yards away. So we're going to do a little bit of, you know, medium distance here at first and just see how the 10 millimeter feels. Uh, 16 rounds in this magazine, so let's see how difficult it is to rack the action, load it. Not a problem at all. One on the left, 25 yards away. And that's 16 rounds. All right, young Beretta was concerned a little bit from the uh, glare of the sun over there. So we've moved a little bit here to the left where we're in the shade. 15 rounds of 10 millimeter in this magazine. Let's try to uh, release the slide. No problem at all. I'm gonna shoot at the 21 yard target from the kneeling. Yeah. 
outstanding. Great reliability, no issue at all with the 10 millimeter. And I believe it recoils less than a Glock 20 in 10 millimeter, which I also own. You're up next. This powerhouse cartridge here. Interesting little magwell here at the bottom. I love the full ambi controls here. You have an ambi slide release and an ambi mag release. First rounds. Shooting from 15 yards here. First mag for the day, a little sporadic in the target. Let's try it again. Headshots. First 30 rounds down, XDM, 10 millimeter elite. All right guys, the XDM elite and 10 millimeter. I'm gonna finish up this video with the last eight rounds. These can be found in your area for just over $600. And to me, that's a screaming bargain for this much power and this reliable a handgun. Again, excellent customer service with Springfield Armory with the XDs and the XDMs. absolutely flawless performance here tonight thanks for watching the video guys remember to like share and subscribe to our channel here on youtube beretta 9 millimeter usa and the new cz 9 millimeter usa channel we're on both channels thanks for those subscriptions we appreciate that we'll see you guys on the next video remember your second amendment is worth protecting